Hey, Colin, how you doing? Oh, I'm fine. How are you, Nick? Yeah, I'm very well. Um, I saw this and I saw the patch, totally recallable Eurorack patch system, and I thought, that's been a tough nut to crack so far. I haven't seen it yet, yeah. so tell yeah. me about your system. Okay, well, it develops from our system, which was a studio system, and we had a customer using it who said, can you make a version for the Euro modules market? Right. So we sat down and designed one. This is about 12 months ago, in fact. And this is what we came up with. So th this is presumably DC coupled, right? Yep, DC coupled, so it would take, you can put anything through it. Um, so control volts or triggers. Right. Uh, or audio. Um, so you have to have a processor. So here's the processor. To make it a little bit more useful, we put the trigger, these are trigger input outputs. The buttons allow you to trigger manually. When you, I have these set up, I'll show you later. Here's, here's the computer. The main thing here is the USB MIDI, the serial MIDI, 5-pin MIDI if you like, yeah, yeah. and network MIDI. So you can connect that to a control system. And, yeah. yeah. Um, our software, which is here, this gives you a matrix view, a path view, which you could use for building paths. This is much easier to, for the user to make a complex path. Unfortunately, it is impossible to take this information and feed it back into it, which is why we have the matrix yeah, view yeah. as well. And the software allows you to talk to the game module and the new MyCamp, which is a pro in prototype form here. Yeah, that's, that's the two mic amps there. So let me tell you what's, what I've got set up in the rack. So we have, my, we have an audio source coming in here. It, it is, these are going into the uh, line inputs or high Z inputs. The, here you have a break point, so it comes out of here, goes into the gain channel, through so like the gain a, like channel. Like an insert almost, yeah? Yeah, it's an insert. Uh, through the gain channel, into the, here, and comes back out of here, and then here it goes to, through the, act, the line outputs to the uh, headphones. The other outputs are things like control volts, uh, uh, envelope follower, and uh, trigger, and a, and a uh, trigger and a key. So, uh, what? So, what's connecting the compute module to the I/O? Is there a busing? Is yeah, is the compute so module controlling it, or is it busing? No, it is controlling. So, essentially, it's a ribbon cable bus. It takes the control signals, it gets all the information, and it takes the power. So you only have one power connection. Right, but so in here is a sort of gate array or something that you can... No, uh, uh, oh, so I can show you a bit more. So the, the, yeah, there's a ribbon cable here, and they, each one has a switch which sets the address. Right, so yeah, okay. So So, e so how, many co how many of these can you connect to a single person? 15. Okay, and what we got, we've got is that 30, 32? That's a 16 by 16. 16 by 16, right. Okay. And then two modules to make a 32 by 32. So, so in terms of cost, the computer is 300 pounds. This one is 300 pounds. A second one would be another 300 pounds. If you need a 32 by 32, it's, it would be 900 pounds for, for, for the three modules. Right, I got you. Because unfortunately it's square law. So is it, so it, is it, uh, are these got A to Ds in them and D to A's? No, or is it no, I can show you with here. This is, this is a 256 switches in there. And they're analog switches. And, all the, and then, so essentially on here, these are the inputs. They go through there, into here, through here, back out there, and go to these outputs. And the outputs are buffered by, so that you can use it as a molt as well. So can you so you can mul uh, can you merge? No, it's it's a one to many, not a many to one. Right. Okay. Um, you can in this one you have the sum, so this is merging, right. effectively. Again, this is DC coupled, so you could do funny things. I'm not too sure what it would do to a DC control signal, but you could certainly amplify it and. Right. So let me show you what you can do. So a simple way of seeing what's going on. Let me. So let's have a look first. There's a mic amp module. You can see there's two there. This is that game module, and this is a representation of what's inside. 
But we're interested today in the exp the matrix here. So you can hear this is this is stereo. Yeah. If I if I push on this this trigger input here, so I'll simulate a trigger input by pushing on the switch, it will reset this to the first event in the sequence. This is the next event and it will switch this to mono. Oh, so that so And then pressing again it will go to left channel only. Right oh, right, so they're kind of recalls, effectively. Yeah, that's Pre effectively the recall. There's 128 snapshot memory for each, and, uh, and that's 15 modules wide. So you can and have 15 it, modules. It will, it will set up 15 modules in that time. Is there any attenuation available, or is it on the outputs? Yeah, this is gain and attenuation. So you could have one to many, and then some of those outputs could be yeah. attenuated by X or yeah, Y. Or yeah, that's right. Oh, that's internal, so you don't, uh, is that VCA based or how do you? No, that's digital gain control. Right, okay. And you could do it in quarter dB steps if you want. And how does that, when it relates to control voltage, because obviously those are. Um, it doesn't, effectively. Okay. If, I, I, if I wanted to make it um, into something to do with uh, tones or something, I would have to do a conversion, because right, it's logarithmic. Okay. Yes, okay, I see, I understand. Um, so it's more for it's better for just kind of matrix routing rather than any kind of well, yeah, not I mean DSP the, function. The, but gain the analog is, the gain is more dedicated to audio. However, I'm sure the modular community will think up uses for it. It will, and will we'll either come back with a chart saying, "Can you set up these easily?" Or <laughs> so was it was it more straightforward doing it because I presumably your X patch would be balanced, whereas this is this is unbalanced. Yeah. Um, this is simpler than this, but it's, you know, what can fit in a Euro module? There yeah, is a yeah. limit. I mean, already I'm getting complaints. In the, in the, in the fin final version of the MyCamp, we've actually shaved off a centimeter off the depth. Because, because yeah, some cases are a bit narrow, yeah. yeah. I had a complaint from my American agent. It's too deep from my rack. Okay. <laughs> so I said, buy a bigger rack. <laughs> 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 I don't think, he, don't think he agreed with that idea, but yeah, there we go. So have you got any other plans for the system? I mean, what, yep. what, what capacity is there in the computer system? Is there kind of... Well, there's plenty of capacity there. So the next thing will be a, para a dual parametric equalizer. Uh, that's waiting for me to test at the moment or finish the design. And that will, be, that will have an EQ output so you get lift and cut, but also the various filter outputs. So you'll have a band pass, a low pass, and a high pass, variable oh, okay. Q, variable variable frequency. And that will be controllable or is that just as a... That will be controllable from, from, from here. Oh, okay. So it's part so of the preset. Not any yeah, yeah. So, um, anything I make will be digitally rec have digital recall. Excellent. Um, it will probably have, at the moment the concept, it will have buttons on it to select the function. It may just... So let me just show you. If I select a mic amp here, if I select this one, it immediately tells you you've, you've selected that mic amp and you can change what you want to adjust. All right, so it's like a comms burst. There's a sort yeah, of... It, it, it makes life very easy. You could go through and select the modules individually, but it's much easier to push the button on the module. Yeah, absolutely. Interesting. And it tells you which, which module you're selected to at that time. And so what's Ethernet kind of got to offer to the equation? What, to, what does so that... Ethernet is the RTP MIDI. Uh, you can use, connect this by Ethernet, which means you can use this one for USB MIDI at the same time. Right, okay. Because obviously, if you're talking, if this one's taken over the MIDI, you've got to get into MIDI merge, and yeah, 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 yeah. problems that could occur. So better to switch this one over to network. And but, a decoupled as well, so you won't yeah. get the earthing stuff. Yeah. Right? So, but the nice thing is the whole system works without this connected. Yeah. And when I'm designing the modules, I start by doing this interface, not by doing this interface. Oh, okay. Right. And so these are all all at well. The blue ones are available now, right? Yep. That, and They're these all guys available. will be a And this will be about a month or two. And then the EQ probably ne early next year. Um, most of the interest is in the, is in the patch at the moment. Yeah, I can imagine. Because that's one of the things you can't do. The recall is the main thing. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Okay.